It took the offense 51 minutes to light the lamp, and when it did, the goal came shorthanded thanks to Matt Hendricks' third of the year. That seemed to open things up as the Oilers and Jets traded chances the rest of the way, all the way through overtime. Of course, solving nothing as this one needed a shootout. In the shootout, the Jets get goals from Blake Wheeler and Andrew Ladd, while Jordan Everly had the lone response for the Oil as Winnipeg wins it 2-1. We didn't seem to execute in terms of our shots. We missed a lot of shots. A lot of shots got blocked. So we weren't able to find, you know, the second and third opportunities off rebounds. But, you know, we got a point and, you know, it's, it's, a, good, it's a good sign. We're, we're down by one late into the third and we were able to tie it up and, and push for overtime. I felt pretty good for the most part. I mean, there's still some, some things I want to tidy up uh, at this level. Um, but for the most part, I felt good and, and it feels good to get a point. But... Uh, you know, shootouts are, are something that I'm pretty confident in, and so it's kind of frustrating um, losing a point that way. We were up and down, I thought, throughout the night. They, uh, first of all, they're a hard team to play against. They're big, strong, physical. thought we had the will to be around it. We didn't win as, enough battles. Uh, obviously, the special teams gets us one shorthanded. Uh, power play we weren't very impressed with. Uh, penalty kill worked too much but did a, a good job of killing. Edmonton walks away with a point thanks in large part to an outstanding performance from Laurent Brossois. This game also marked the 400th of Jordan Eberle's career. Eberle, Brossois and the Oilers are back in action Tuesday night against the Anaheim Ducks. Tom Gazzola, Oilers TV.